Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now I've got the DJI Mini 4 Pro in my paws right now, and a lot of people are like, man, that's a very small and very lightweight drone. I mean, it actually is with the 249 gram battery. I mean, the with the stock battery, this comes out to approximately 249 grams. Now, if you put a larger capacity battery in it, at least at the time of filming this video, that will tip the weight beyond 249 grams. So but what about the DJI Micro? So actually a long time viewer of mine, very loyal supporter of the channel, they kind of came up with the idea. They said, what about DJI Micro and, or something along those lines? I don't know exactly how they phrased it, but it got me to thinking. I mean, you know, we're, we're looking at DJI. They started out with the DJI Phantom, which was somewhat manageable size, but it was inconvenient. It was too big and it was too heavy. But then DJI went through the various Phantom models. Then they came out with the uh, with the Mavic, the original DJI Mavic Pro, which was a huge step forward from the uh, you know from the DJI Phantom lineup. And then they further enhanced that. Did the DJI Mavic Air? Uh, they also did the uh, what we've got right now, the first version of the DJI Mini. This, of course, is the most current at the time of filming this, DJI Mini 4 Pro. But it begs the question for sure, will we see DJI Micro in the fourth quarter of 2023? And my gut, my gut's pretty big, man. I eat a bunch of junk, but I do exercise. If I didn't exercise, I'd be really fat. But um, my gut tells me that the DJI Micro should happen. It only makes sense. I mean, DJI tested the waters with the first version of the DJI Mini, and then they continued to enhance, enhance, enhance. DJI's, DJI's uh, product team must be incredible. I mean, they take a product, they try it out, and the initial version is good, but then they refine it, refine it, refine it. I mean, what I've got now in my paw is something that makes all of the other drones on the market today irrelevant for me. Because I can capture 4K 60 video, it's gimbal stabilized, uh, the drone itself is USB-C rechargeable, so I can charge it to and from my flying locations in a car, or an SUV, a car, a boat, a, uh, an ATV, whatever. Or if I'm off the grid, I can use my USB solar bank, charge it up, then use the sun to recharge the battery in my USB solar bank. So without a doubt, the most convenient drone on the market today, just from an ease of travel, ease of charging. And the thing is, is that it's so small and so lightweight that it's it's something that one will probably have with them in various scenarios. Because, I mean, how many times have you pulled out a, you know, a, a smartphone or something and, and captured a video or a photo just because it's all you had? Same with a, with a drone. If the only drone option I had was DJI Phantom, it would be very unlikely that I would have the Phantom with me. But due to the ultra portability of the DJI Mini 4 Pro, this is a flying camera that I'll probably have with me in a lot of situations where I otherwise may not pack a drone. So it only makes sense that DJI will come out with DJI Micro because that would be the next step beyond the DJI Mini. I mean, this the refinement that DJI... DJI's engineers have been able to perform with the mini platform. I mean, we're looking at it right here, the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And with this new obstacle avoidance, not that I care about obstacle avoidance, but it's nice to have because it does suggest a safer drone. And that's so important for drone hobbyists today. I am the drone evangelist and always practice drone safety, but also preach drone safety. So be your own drone evangelist, practice and preach safe and responsible drone use because if we don't, this hobby may cease to exist. But with all of that being said, it only makes sense that the next challenge for DJI's engineering team is to develop something smaller and lighter than the mini series. I mean, you know, this is 249 grams with the battery as it sits, a standard battery, but they can do smaller and lighter. I mean, this thing, subscribe and check out my DJI Mini 4 Pro wind test video, I had wind gusts of about 18 knots. This thing compensated for the wind gusts like a boss. So it only makes sense that, that a smaller and lighter drone is doable and a smaller and lighter drone could also be capable because like most everything else, camera technology has shrunk. 
So you've got smaller and lighter camera technology, which would mate well with the DJI Micro, a smaller and lighter drone. And also DJI acquired Hasselblad. Now, if you're not a big camera guy, you probably don't know Hasselblad from brand XYZ, but Hasselblad was an ultra, 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 ultra high-end camera manufacturer. And DJI acquired them. So it only makes sense that DJI would want to leverage some of the technology that they acquired and put a camera into a DJI Micro. So, you know, you're probably looking at me like, man, that guy's an idiot, man. The DJI is never going to go smaller than the Mini. That's small enough. And that's one school of thought. And I respect your opinion. But I also look at it from not just something that'll, that should sell well, but also a challenge to their design team. I mean... DJI's engineers built this. This took a lot of it. This required a lot of engineering to make. But, you know, they've done it. Well, how are they going to one-up themselves? Well, they're going to have to go DJI Micro. So DJI Micro, in my opinion, only makes sense. Again, I think it was Living the Dream on my YouTube channel. Long-time subscriber and supporter of the channel. I think he may have been the one that uh, that had mentioned the possibility of DJI Micro. And and that, that comment, man, that stirred this, and I'm like, it only makes sense. And I, I thought about it, you know, you going throughout your day, you know, you walk and you using the bathroom, whatever, and you're thinking about stuff. So I was like, man, that makes sense. You know, DJI Micro makes sense. So, you know, with that being said, how long do you think it'll be before we see the DJI Micro? I'm going to go aggressive, and I'm going to say fourth quarter of year 2023 this year. You know, maybe my assumption is too aggressive i don't know y'all tell me below how long do you think it'll be before we see the dji micro hit the market thanks for your viewership be sure to subscribe and ring that bell and check out all of my drone videos i've been flying drones since dji phantom one i was a little bit a late adopter because i thought they were too expensive and i would just take off and it would fly away and i never see it again so i didn't get the phantom one until phantom two had been out and it was one of my viewers uh, somebody from wine country i forget his screen name but he was he was messaging me, messaging me, messaging me on social media, be like, man, you got to get into drones, and and I attribute getting into drones to that push. And once Phantom Two came out, I felt that the risk reward from a financial perspective was there if I went with the previous iteration, which was the Phantom One after the Phantom Two had been released. And as soon as I started flying drones, man, I've never looked back. I mean, it's it's an amazing hobby. The technology continues to evolve. That's why I've got Mini 4 Pro in my paws right now. Sure, there are some drones that I didn't have interest in at all, one of which is the Inspire. The Inspire is too big. It's too heavy. And there were drones prior to, um, to the Mini 4 Pro that I have here now that I didn't have interest in. I mean, I didn't, since they've gone so small and so lightweight with drones with the Mini Series, I have no desire to go back to something big and heavy. I mean, I can achieve outstanding video even in lower light situations with the Mini 4 Pro. So why do I need a bigger and heavier and less convenient and potentially more expensive aerial platform when I can do everything I need with something so small and so lightweight? And, I mean, it's, uh, it's an incredible tool, and it's, I mean, the technology is going to continue to evolve. So I hope that we see DJI Micro soon. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. Subscribe, ring that bell. And as a reminder, and I know I've already said this, but I, I preach it, always practice safe and responsible drone use. But don't just practice it, preach it. Be your own drone evangelist. Practice and preach safe and responsible drone use. I am the drone evangelist, and that's my mission for this community of drone hobbyists. Thanks for your viewership, and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.